a minor adjustment. It's been a little more than a year, I guess, since I finished the shop rebuild. Um, and it's time to start doing some minor adjustments. These are going to be short videos, relatively short. The first minor adjustment uh, was the chop saw when I did the uh, dust collection and the light for it, the uh, shadow light for it. And the second one was, it wasn't really a minor adjustment, but was this um, the new ductwork for the dust collection, which is working outstanding, by the way. This one's going to be for the Lee jig, which I tend to use a lot. So normally, if you've seen in my videos, I put it right here on the bench, to the edge of the bench, and I can get long boards here and long boards there, but it's a little tight here and I can't get a camera around here. And if I want to show some detail of doing this, I can't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees this way. So now I can get boards here, go to the floor. This is, this is a height, by the way, is because when you're doing long, big pieces of furniture that have longer boards, you need the room. And I can also take a piece of wood for doing uh, half blinds here all the way out to here. And I've got, I've already got a, a stand for it out here that'll hold the piece of wood that's out there. If you look at the video I, when I was doing the chest of drawers for myself, you can see me doing that with a here board going out that way. Anyhow, because that had half blinds top and bottom between the sides and the top. Uh, link in the description. I think I'll link, see if I can link to that very video. <clears throat> so this is what I want to do. Now, problem. Uh, let me demonstrate this a little bit. You take a piece of wood here. Get that kit out of the way. So your front piece where you're doing uh, either half blinds or, or uh, through dovetails has to be able to be go from here all the way down to the floor and it comes right up to within a half an inch of this box. <clears throat> now, as you can see, there's a vise in the way. Let me, let me give you an idea. Let me show you that. This uh, box that I have, I built for this many years ago, it has to come out beyond the vice handle, the vice crank here, screw, the screw crank. It has to come out beyond that because if you have a piece of wood in here, it can't, it won't be able to come down. So what that means is <clears throat> I have to build a base that allow this to sit beyond here, but not tip over and fall and be stable. It has to be stable. So to quote uh, Tony Robbins from the Black Adder, Black Adder TV show, I have a cunning plan. Um, I'm going to put, make a platform that comes out beyond here that's clamped to the bench, and this jig clamps to it. I don't want to put it on this because it takes up too much room on the floor then. And this will sit on top of that platform, and I'll be using these uh, toggle clamps to clamp the back of it here, so the platform I'm going to make, and I think that should be enough to keep this nice and stable. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, measure up and take out and cut out that piece of wood. So the front of the uh, box here has to be beyond the uh, shaft end for the vise. So let's get that measurement. Clamp that in place. It's like ready to go. Okay, that's five and three eighths. And for a little bit of slop, we're gonna go five and five eighths uh, from here. So that this will be out beyond this well enough. Now, the other thing I need to do is I wanna be able to run a dog, bench dog into the bench back here in the back of the platform to hold it back here so it's nice and tight, even though it's going to be held tight in here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cleat on the bottom of it that fits that goes into here. And I clamp down on that cleat and now that holds that platform in tight. And the distance from here to here is exactly the same. But I still want, you know, belt and suspenders. I want to be able to drop a dog hole in, a dog, a dog into one of these dog holes. So to, uh, to do that. So what I think I need to do here is go ahead and build the portion with the cleat. Then measure where I need to cut it off with a dog hole. So let's do that. Here's my cleat. Got a cleat. Um, and the platform is actually 31 and a half inches, which is the width of the 
the length of the base of the uh, of the the the, do the dovetail jig box it has ears that stick out on either side for clamping. So I need to clamp it on this side because this is going to get flipped over and clamped in the vise here. So what I'm using is Starbond. Yay, Starbond. Get, get, ooh. Okay. And then spray it. And then stick it down. Okay, now um, we put this up so it doesn't do the dry out thing. Let that sit for a bit. Now flip it over, mark it, and drill the holes and put some a couple of screws in there just for belt and suspenders added strength. Marked where the holes need to go to the middle of the cleat so I can put some screws in and make sure they're below the surface. I'm using number eight, number eight inch and a quarter, inch and a half, I think. Again, belt and suspenders. I like that phrase. Works well, well for me. So, the cleat is now in place. So now I can cl clamp it in here and start taking measurements for uh, one of the dog, dog hole rows. That's going to be interesting. Now let's open this up. Stick it down in there. Come on, yeah, there we go. Yep, absolutely, I have. Yep, and that is behind this part, part here. But, oh look, I have dog holes here. But, I don't want this to be this big. So, because the, the dovetail jig is going to be right here, I don't need this to be this deep. So the trick for that is, raise it up here, because this, this is a step down from the outfeed table to here. And I think this is the dog hole row I want. So we mark that. This is where the dog holes are. I want to go right there is where I want to make the cut to rip this to this to this depth. But I have to transfer that to the other side so I can see it when I'm cutting the wood. Here and here. Okay then. Um, let me go cut that off. So you can see what I mean by a bench dog. So that stabilizes it from, from shifting forward slightly in, in, the, in the vise because it, it'll want to shift a little off. You know, the weight will want to take it this way, but this keeps it from doing that much more stable. So now uh, toggle clamps. These are the little toggle clamps. They, they kind of pop up out of the way when, you, when you're not using them, when you want them out of the way. And they're going to go here. And they're going to be at a slight angle because of this is... The same width as that, and I want to get a square base on there. You know, get the base square on there. So I'm going to be using uh, one inch number eight screws to hold these in place. Then I can adjust them for the clamping themselves. So that's. You can see that it pops up out of the way. I know, weird angles. Actually, those are three quarters, I think. Anyhow, um, so there's the screws in place. Now you take, you've probably all used these before. A little toggle clamp 101 sits like this. Arm, this arm moves it up and out of the way. This is your adjustable part. It has a rubber bumper on it, and that's what clamps onto your workpiece. I've already adjusted this for the height that I want. And all you do is take these nuts, and you grab the arm and clamp it between these two nuts right here. And there's, there's some plates in there, too, that, that grab it. See? Right there. So that's it. That's all, you, that's all there is to it. Once you set it, you forget it. And there you have it. So now I can put boards. Let me get let me get my my jack thingy that I've got set up for this. This is 
what holds big boards, and I'll, I'll, I'll include some pictures of the last time I did this. Large boards, when you're doing half-blind dovetails that are coming out far, need a place to rest because it'll just bow, it'll, it'll weigh down and do strange things to the jig. I built this, it's at the same height as, as, as where the wood comes out, so it's going to hold the large pieces. And I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll dig into the other videos and, and grab some screen caps of what I was doing. But the clamps keep it now tight here, and a dog back there is now has a little bit of wobble in it, but it's not horrible. I mean, I can I can live with that. Maybe I could put some things down here, but now I can with, with it is with with it set the way it is now. I can take a longer board and stick it up all the way to the floor here to do a larger piece. So now I have improved my dovetail jig somewhat. And um, if I want to do any detail work, show it on camera, I now can bring the camera in close and do show you the detail work on this very old D3, look it up, <laughs> D3 dovetailing jig. So um, until next time, I don't know what's coming up next, uh, but until next time, uh, make right, oh wait a minute, I think I do know what's coming up next. It's going to be an interesting project. It might be three or four episodes long. Anyhow, uh, until next time, make great things out of wood.